do these 10 plus things from time to time to supersize and grow your business. Sharon horn Elstrom here, and our idiom, our expression today is from time to time. Now, this is an idiom, again, like so many of these other time-related idioms, that there's no clear origin of, but they know it's from the beginning of the 19th century. And people used it to say that you were doing something periodically or occasionally. You weren't doing it all the time, but from time to time you were doing it. So it could mean that you were doing something once in a while, or it could mean that you were keeping track of something for a period of time. It would be checked and kept tabs on for a period of time. So maybe you were from time to time checking in on someone or something. Maybe you were checking in on your grandchildren. Maybe you were checking in on a, a company's growth or performance, whatever. What does this have to do with our business and growing and supersizing our business? Well, there are at least 10 things that I realized as I was doing this idiom today that I automatically do on a periodic basis. One of those is strategic planning. I strategically plan out different areas and aspects of my life. I do it actually more regularly than I used to, but I used to just do it every once in a while. Periodically, I would do it. And when I did it periodically, I got periodic results. When I started doing it regularly, I got regular predictable results. That's why I it went from being something I did from time to time to something I did on a regular basis. Same is true with visioning. Although when we do vision work or figuring out our purpose and our vision and our core values, which are a couple more things that we want to consider from time to time, uh, it gives us our, our end point. What is our big legacy direction? What is it we want to create with our life? That's what I think of when we do our visioning work. Another exercise that I like to do, and some of these are just exercises I like to do periodically, is the 7 why exercise, where I am working towards something, but I really want to understand why I or my organization want to create that thing. And so I ask myself a series of 7 whys to really get down to the motivating factors so when the going gets tough, I still keep going, and we still keep going toward what it is that we want. Another one is the lifeline exercise. It's an exercise that I share in our Get Up and Go Challenge, and I'm looking for my lifeline exercise so I can show you an example of it, and it's not handy. Oh, yep, here it is. So it's just a, a, a line, a timeline of, it's our own personal timeline. It's a timeline of our big life events, and we can graph on that different areas and aspects of our life and look for correlations and understandings about ourselves. The better we know ourselves, the better we are equipped to grow and build and supersize our business. Another thing I like to do periodically, and again, this one is a lot more regular than it used to be, is a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's one of my favorite tools for stepping back and really taking a look at what is going on in my business. Uh, I also like to do every every few years, and it's periodically, it's not a routine thing I do, but a Myers-Briggs or a DISC analysis or whatever new version of the personality and types and styles test comes out because a new one comes out every couple of years. And I like to just see how consistent I am and other people are that I work with and interact with over time as the tools become better and better. Uh, systems process document reviews. I actually, this is another one that I've taken from doing periodically to making it a regular basis. Maybe it's, it depends on the function for the business or for the type of business, but uh, at least annually we review all of our processes, our systems, our documentation, and we look for changes, we look for improvement, we look for errors. Now, we are continuously changing and evolving and updating our processes and procedures as things change in the environment as, and as we deal with them differently. But if one has gone a whole year and it's working fine for us and we haven't consciously made any changes to it, at least annually we're going to review those systems and those processes and those documents and those procedures to make sure there's, sure there's still a representation of what we're actually doing in the business. Uh, another thing I like, and I am maybe a freak of nature, but I absolutely positively love audits. Audits of every different aspect of our business, of not just financial audits. I don't really love IRS audits, not going to lie. Those are, are sort of painful. But uh, other types of audits I like. I like to do our own financial audits. I like to do our own systems, processes, and procedures audits, uh, things like that. Another thing we do periodically, and again, more regularly, depending on the type of business you have, is inventory. We take an inventory of 
all of our assets, everything that's an asset for our business. We can do this for our business, but we should take a personal inventory every once in a while as well and make sure that we are uh, getting the skills we need, getting the coaching we need, getting involved in the masterminds or the programs that we need to continue to grow as a human as well as a business leader and a business owner. I also like to do, and this one's a, a little harder because it's a personal one, I like to spend some time in, and periodically I do this, again, not regularly, but looking at and analyzing my beliefs, my results, my mindset, things I need to let go of. Um, I like to challenge myself periodically to stretch my comfort zone and do things differently or do things that I've never done before. Uh, I like to unplug periodically or from time to time. I like to have fun from time to time. And I like to have celebrations from time to time. Again, things that aren't regularly scheduled, but we want to make sure we're incorporating them and, and including them in our business so that our business isn't just a job. It's actually a part of our life, a living, breathing part of our life, and we're creating what it is that we want to create with that business. It's not just a way to make a living. It's a, it's a journey that we want to be on. At least that's how I approach my business. Um, of course, other things that we want to monitor periodically and from time to time or for a period of time or any area of challenge or change in our business that requires our attention, that we have to pay attention to or create changes in how we do things in our business. Results, of course, we always want to be monitoring our results and our key performance indicators. We want to be measuring our finances and our money, and each different area and aspect of our life has a way of measuring it, and we want to make sure that we're, from time to time, looking at those measures and making sure they still make sense. I remember in corporate America, we did a lot of, information and data collection and tracking of things, the vast majority of which we never used for anything. We just did it for the sake of doing it. And I, I learned that I don't want to do that in my businesses. I want to make sure that the information we're gathering is stuff we're actually doing something with. Otherwise, why are we collecting it? Just for posterity or history's sake? Maybe that's valuable too, but we can just do that with a journal, a, a daily journal for the business. and, and write down key uh, lessons learned and key learnings and key things and events that happen. So I would love to know from time to time, what do you do to supersize and grow your business? Share in the comments below and I'll be with you around with another interesting time related idiom and hopefully we'll actually know the origin of this one. Maybe I'll pick one that I know we can find the, the history and the origin of because I kind of feeling missed, like I'm missing that personally. I like to know when and where things came from. Not that it matters because we use them anyway. This is an expression and a thing I've been doing my entire life, and I suspect you have as well. All right, have an awesome day, and I will be with you tomorrow. Any questions, ask. Otherwise, go out and make it an absolutely amazing day. Bye.